the excitement that I get when I'm up close and personal with nature is almost indescribable. It's a feeling like you're one with everything around you, that you are came from this ginormous top of the food chain person to this small little speck on something so large. And that kind of adrenaline and that kind of fascination is what keeps us going. I went out there with a net, one net, and I took that net and I swung it at the palm tree, not expecting anything. When I looked in it, there was this colossus spider with one small little dot for a body and 17 different legs. And then I showed it to the ranger and she explained that it was a daddy long leg. And the difference between a daddy long leg and most spiders is that most spiders have two segments of their body. Daddy long leg has one. And after learning that, I had so much of a greater respect for that spider, nor I would have stepped on it and just ended it there. But now I have such a greater respect that I held it, I let it crawl on me. And it's just that one spider has changed my views completely on nature. can't really explain it. It's just something you feel in your stomach. It's just like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I actually found this. And like knowing that it could actually help scientists to um, make the world a better place, that's also, that also adds to the feeling. Dr. Wilson is working in Vanahatu. He's looking up in the trees for the biodiversity. So it's part of the lesson of the day is you look up in these trees and there are little gardens growing up there. And there could be rare and endemic plants. There could be small organisms totally tied to those ecosystems, tucked up into a tree cavity or a tree branch nook. This is my second year and it's life changing. And usually you see an ant, you step on it, like, get out of my way, you're weird, you're gonna eat all my food. You learn to accept and love the nature and animals around you and really go out and explore. It's the small things. It's the small things that you discover that can make everything different for you. And then we can just go out to our national parks and have as much fun as staying on your computer and being on Facebook for a day. I mean, it's helping conserve what we treasure and what our ancestors treasured whenever they created the National Park Service back in 1916. Just notice everything around you. You don't have to always do, you don't have to come out to a bio blitz. You don't have to do everything that you think might be for the better, but you just need to be observant and notice that it's there. Be heartful about that. <laughs>